guys, Shane here. Uh, just back with another daily mining rig update. Um, I did make some changes. Well, just a small one. Um, I stopped mining Monero and switched back to Ethereum because they were pretty much comparable last time I checked. We can go check again real quick. Um, head over to what to mine. And we'll keep this in here, the 570 again. And we'll see what it is now. Yeah, see Ethereum is more profitable now. And here, down below, there's Monero, $1.18. So I had noticed I would, just wasn't getting many coins weren't, weren't being converted to uh, Verge. So found out this is why so I guess a bunch of people jumped on the new uh, Monero algorithm and of course as you would expect more miners on there the less the less profit you're gonna get so let's check the spreadsheet um, 216 Raven coin mine so far uh, 92 verge Giving me a total Raven coin of 566. Um, I got a new new graphic here for Electronium. Mined 11.67 Electronium so far with my phone. 24 cents. It's not a big deal, but if I can get that roughly every day, that's 300 300 coins a month uh, passively, and I'm not even focused on it. We're up to $2.23 a day with this, both the rigs, uh, $66.86 a month. Um, last week, I think we were $3.87 a day average. This is averaging per the price of the coins at that time. Uh, I don't think we're quite going to hit that because of the low amount of Verge coins I've got so far this week. But still profitable I mean this is all after electric costs so this is bottom line if I went and sold right now this would be the total value right here two hundred eighty four dollars you see what last week was I didn't even have that graphic last week so going forward and I'll be able to see how much this grows every week um, cards are still going up a little bit per day I mean it's this is net right now and I, this is all based on how much like I said in the previous videos how much these coins are worth at today's prices so verge is a little over eight cents raven coin just shy of four cents and electronium is just over two cents a coin right now so all in all I can't complain it's pretty good uh, let's head over to Simple Mining. That's where I have one of my rigs. We're at 62.32 mega hash for all three of the RX cards. I'm um, just staying in mid 60s. I did up the fan speeds on them so that they would stay a little cooler than they had been in the past. Uh, if y'all want to see the overclocks real quick, I'll show you that. I know I've shown them in the last video, but this is what I got. 1425 on a 570 core, 2300 memory, uh, and both the 560s are at 1350 core and 2150 memory. Uh, no undervolting, fan speed at 55 minimum, target temperature 65 degrees, power stage 6. I've kept it like that for at least a month now, and it's stable, and it runs fine, and it likes those settings with those cards. Yours may be different on your rigs, but that's what I'm doing. So this has been up 16 hours now since I um, converted it back to Ethereum. Um, this is my mining pool hub. I still am mining Monero with my uh, CPU. We'll check that out in a second. And now I've got Ethereum showing up here. Let's go look at Ethereum and see what the 24 hour is on that. It's probably still going to be pretty old because it hasn't been quite 24 hours. But if we scroll down, 24 hours is 0.033. So that is down from what it normally is. 
This is what it normally is, the range 0 0.005, 0 0.0049. That's what it hangs around when it's mining straight 24 hours. So let's go check out my Windows rig. I haven't gotten a Raven coin payout. I think the last one we'll see real quick. Yeah, the last Raven coin payout was at 857 this morning. So I should be due for another payout. It's been kind of low here lately, but as you can see, 566 total Raven coin mines so far. And about two weeks. I think that's about two weeks full right now. Yeah, today's Wednesday, so 14 days, 566 Raven coin. Let's do some math real quick if we can. So let's take 566 divided by 14. That's 40 Raven coin a day. About 40 and a half Raven coin a day when I'm mining with those two 1060s. And they're looking pretty cool right now. So 64 degrees on the 6, 3 gig. And 57, 58 on the 6 gig. You would think that would be the other way around. Look at that. That is odd. Get more mega hash out of my 3 gig than I am my 6 gig. Don't really know why that is. But maybe it's just the type of uh, algorithm it's going through right now. Who knows. So, I haven't really been looking at any new cards right now, because I'm kind of just holding off. I've already spent a bunch of money on cards, so I'm kind of looking to ROI everything right now. And I think that's probably the wise thing to do. But, we'll see. You know, we probably could go check that out real quick and see if I can... Check out, it's updated on NVIDIA cards. I think I was checking this out the other day, 1070s. But they're all, I mean, five to five hundred, six hundred dollars for these. I'm just not paying that. Yeah, nothing's really jumping out at me. I mean, there's definitely, as per probably a month ago, there's definitely a lot more in stock as far as video cards, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is the prices just aren't coming down. I also do notice that the AMD cards are also a lot cheaper than the NVIDIA cards. There is a 578 gig for 369, still just 349, 350. They're still high. Let me see if they got any 580s cheaper. I would like to get a 580 in the 350 range if I could. There's a three. There's a 350 right there, but that's a 4 gig. I'd like to get an 8 gig model, not 4 gig. I'm trying to. If I do buy these cards, well, there's a 339 right there on Newegg Gigabyte. So let's go check that out real quick. That's an 8 gig gigabyte for 339. Shell shocker, huh? 8 gig 256. That's that's a pretty cheap price. I may have to uh, eat my eat my words on that. I may have to investigate that later. Five new from 339, or you can get a refurbished one for 419. I, I think I'll take the new one. Thanks. Definitely gonna have to look at that a little a little closer. It was a 359 too. 379, 69, 359. So those aren't bad. Definitely gonna have to check those out. But as you can see, 
There's a pre-order for three thirty-nine on Amazon. I wonder if that's a four gig. That's a four gig. Don't want a four gig. But as you can see, the cards are definitely coming back in stock, which is good. Now I just need the prices to drop. So, okay, guys. Um, I guess that's it for today. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon for future notifications if you'd like to. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. Appreciate it. Any questions or comments, put those down below. I'll definitely get back to you. And with that, you all have yourself a good day, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, guys? Bye.